everyone and welcome back to a new video thank you so much for joining me um, i just want to pre-warn a few things i'm using my artificial lighting as well as um real lighting although by this point there's actually no lighting at all um i've woke up late today so i'm filming this late and also i've just tried to film a video and they cut a camera cut out on me halfway through so i was like ugh um, also I think I'm coming down with something so if my throat sounds really scratchy that's why um, also um, if I talk really fast it's because like I said I've got my curtains open and people can see in um, so I'm just trying to film this as quick as I can but welcome back to um, the first proper sit down video of 2019 thank you so much for joining me I'm so glad that you've come here today on this glorious windy rainy snowy sunday i don't know what the weather's gonna be like tomorrow i'm filming this on a saturday afternoon um so i thought i'd do my disney funko pop collection part two i did this back in 2017 um i'll leave that link down below for you but i've gotten a few since then not too many but a few so i thought i'd share with them with you today i'm sitting here in my disney land resort um parks top and my shelly may ears so if you can see the tag i apologize i've not taken the tags off until i go to a park so um let's just get straight into it so um the first thing i'm going to show you is not actually a little funko pop he's a little statuette now i wish i could remember which one he is and i can't remember now um but i don't know if you guys know in the disney store they did these um mystery mickeys for mickey's 90th and he was one of them and it's this little this little black and white mickey he's just so cute um I want to say, I'd, actually no, you know, I'm not even going to guess, I think he's the plain crazy one, that's the one I want to say, um, I'll try and find out and I'll leave it in the description bar for you, um, but he's just so cute, um, It was he was a little treat from my sister, um, He was I think he was only a couple of quid, he wasn't too expensive, but he's quite cute, but I thought I'd share him even though he's technically not a Funko Pop. So I have two little Funko Pops, so I'm going to show them to you now, so we have first off we have little Olaf who looks like this, he's just so cute, um, with his little nose and his little face, is, is this, it is his little tooth, I think that just does it for me, he's just the cutest thing ever, um, he was a gift, um, he was, um, I think he was surprised one, yeah, he was surprised one in a gift from my mum and my sister, um, my sister at the beginning in 2018 moved to Dubai, um, and she came back after, um, a period of time, um, and she brought back presents. So he was one of the presents I got. Um, again, I can't remember if he was from my sister or from my mom. So the next lot, um, they got me four. So just assume they're from one of them. I not, I can't remember. Please don't kill me, mom, if you're watching this. Um, but he was one of them. He was a surprise one. And another surprise one was little Raja. I just, oh, I'm so happy. I love Raja. He's one of my absolute favorite characters. He's just the cutest thing on the planet. And he just looks so cute. Like, I'm not a huge fan of cats, but I would I would totally have Raja as a pet. I just think he's absolutely adorable, and his little whiskers, and his little ears, and his striped body. Oh, he's so cute. Um, so the other two um, that they got me are full-size ones. So one of them is Tiana. Uh, if you didn't know, Tiana is one of my absolute favourite princesses. She's in my top three. I love her to bits. This is her blue dress, which, as you know, um, this is the dress that Lottie um, lends her after her one... Um, her dress gets, I think it's beignets, I think it's the beignets, yeah, she gets like beignets all over her, um, and she changes into this, and it's actually the dress she wears when she meets Naveen, um, so she's got her little tiara, she's got her little curls in her hair, um, little, um, hairband, um, on her bun, and then the blue dress, I do love this dress, um, I think it's just so nice, and I like the fact that it's got like a drop waist to it, so it's kind of like the homage to the 1920s, um, but still being like classic sort of princess. Um, I really want to see if I can get her in her green dress as well. I think it'd be nice to have like the pair. And do I do a Naveen one because I'm gonna need a Naveen one as well? But she's just oh, she's amazing. I love her so much. Um, and then the last one they brought back um, was Princess Jasmine, and she's looking all fancy over here. Um, I love this Funko Pop I, I mean Jasmine has like the best outfits in my opinion and her hair is just oh, insane so Jasmine looks like this so she has her classic um green outfit on that we see her in the film but she also has this little overskirt which you you kind of see I think in the parks although when I met her I don't think she did she have the overskirt I think she did yeah um so I guess this is more like a homage to like the parks as well as like the traditional film she has a headband with the jewel um and she and you can see her gold earrings as well and she's just amazing and so pretty and I love I love how like um they all have um does Tiana have no but like you I think the other ones do 
Yeah, they, they have like a, oh no, Snow White doesn't, but like um, my other ones do, they have like a slight little flush to the cheeks, um, which I think is quite nice. Um, I used to think Funko Pops were quite scary, but I think some of them are, and some of them, like like Jasmine and like Tiana and the other ones I'm gonna show you, they actually, they're not that scary, which is, which is a good thing. Um, so next I'm gonna show you is my favorite, and that's Aurora. So I actually got this not long after I filmed that last one. Um, this is from uh, someone I went to uni with. She got me this for my birthday. Um, she is so pretty and so nice and she is quite heavy. I think she's my heaviest Funko Pop I have. Um, they do this, I think they also do this in a purple or like, well they call it, I, I think it's blue, but they also call it purple, which I don't know why, um, which I might have to pick up as well. But she looks like this. Most of her is predominantly her hair. Her hair is quite, quite chunky if you can see kind of width wise how much of it is her hair. She has a little tiara and she has her pink dress on and then you kind of see almost like the underskirt as well. She's so nice. Like I said, she's got the flush to the cheeks. Um, I just, I love her so much. I screamed when I opened this up because like I knew it existed and I was very happy that she got it for me. Um, but yeah, I just love her so much. She actually sits up on my top shelf with my um, little princess statue of Aurora, which uh, my parents got me from Disneyland Paris. Um, so the last princess I want to show you is Snow White, or Blanche Neige as I refer to her as, which is obviously her French name. Um, this one is for the ATF, so it was, so this was 2017, but I actually got it in 2018, um, which was the 80th anniversary. So this is the special, I don't know if this is like the special 80th anniversary or whether they just brought them out in like new boxes, I'm not too sure. Um, but yes, so this is the 80th one. Um, she has a little bird on her little hand. Um, her hair is looking lovely, I have to admit, in like the classic 1930s style. She has a little red bow and then it's her classic blue and yellow dress and then with her um, you get to see her shoes, um, which mainly like for instance um, Aurora has no shoes and neither does um, Tiana, but obviously Jasmine does. Um, but yeah, she's just so cute. Obviously classic princess, the original um, and like I, I'm, like I said, I'm not a huge fan of Snow White. But because it was the ATF, I thought I've got to have this in my collection. And she's just, she's pretty. I like her very much. Um, and then the last two to show you are both from the same franchise. And I got these both for my birthday last year. And the first one is Baby Hercules. Um, Hercules is one of my favourite films. Um, one of my favourite Disney films ever. And it's so cute. I was so happy when they brought out the, um, the Hercules ones. I still want Hades and I still want Meg. But for now I have two and they're so cute. So this one was from my dad. And this is like really special. Is this one from my dad? Or is that one from my dad? Oh my god, I don't remember. Oh, which one's from my dad and which one's from Charlie? Uh, I think this one's, no, I think this one's from my dad. I think it is. Yes, I believe this is from my dad. I'm sorry, I'm just, we're sitting here for about 10 minutes going, is this from my dad? I'm going to assume this one's from my dad. I'm sorry, dad, if I got this wrong. I'm sorry, Charlie, if I got this wrong, but I presume it's from my dad. And this, yes, I think it is. I'm 99.9% sure it is. And this is all the way from Singapore. So my dad actually picked this up when he and my mum were in Singapore last September on holiday. And he's just so cute. So obviously this is the bit, well, I don't really, and this is the bit, I guess, when he's playing with the Thunderbolts. And um, Zeus is like, whoa take that away from him but he has his little golden curly hair he has the thunderbolt and he has his little um mount olympus um oh, what do you want to call it uh, amulet um uh, medallion whatever you want to call it uh, around his neck and he's just so cute i think baby hercules is like one of the cutest disney babies i really do i think he's so cute um, but yeah, he was a lovely surprise. Um, so thank you very much, Dad. And then from Charlie and who's my sister, and the last one to share with you, I got Baby Hercules. So Baby Hercules, oh my God, no, Baby Pegasus. I am so sorry, my brain is frazzled. Like I said, I was halfway through another video, and then my my camera cut out on me, and I was like, why, why are you doing this to me? Baby Pegasus, there we go. I got Baby Pegasus and he's just so cute. Pegasus is one of my favourite characters. I just love him so much. I used to have, um, when I was younger, I had like the Hercules and the Meg dolls. Um, and I had a Pegasus that had wings that actually flew. I think I still have him somewhere, but he doesn't have wings anymore. And I have the Hercules, but he has no lower arms or lower legs. So he's just, yeah. But I refuse to get rid of him because I love him so much. Um, but yes, he has his little wings, which I think is so cute. And then his little hair. And his little tail. And oh, he's so cute. Oh, I love him so much. Um, they don't do like an adult version of Pegasus. The only one they did is with Hercules riding on him. But I really didn't want that. I wanted Pegasus on his own. But 
I think I love the fact that I got this because it was a complete, both of them were a complete surprise. I had no idea I was getting this. Um, I just love them so much. So uh, thank you, family. I really do appreciate it. Um, so that's all the Funko Pops to share with you. So not much in the um, year and a bit since I did my last video. Um, I think my other one was more um, bigger. That doesn't make sense, but that's because I had all the Beauty and the Beast ones. I'm just looking over at my Funko Pop collection to kind of see. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So thank you so much for tuning in. I'm so sorry that I'm frazzled. Uh, my throat is killing me. I'm pretty sure I'm coming down with something, which is just like the worst case scenario. Um, because there's so much I need to do, but you know, it is what it is. So thank you guys so much for watching. Happy Sunday. Uh, thank you for tuning in. And I will see you guys again next week. Um, if you want to check out part one, I'll leave that link down below for you. Um, so yeah, thank you so much and goodbye.